Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today we're going to show you how to get the Kawaii Dagger in Dying Light. <laughs> Programming, gaming, fitness, Jesse Warden. It is a special drop, one of the DLCs. It is the green dagger I hold in my hand that allows you to build up speed by doing parkour moves. So the more parkour moves you do, you'll see at the top left of my screen there that it builds speed. And if you get it up to 10, you run really fast. So all you have to do is chain parkour moves, jump over things, slide, etc., and it'll go faster. Now the way you get this dagger is completing the game and completing a specific bounty that allows you to do it. And it's at the top of that tower. So we're gonna go ahead and climb up that tower and I'm gonna show you how to get it. Now specifically that blue marker is where you need to go from the actual tower to climb to start the challenge. If this is Brecken's tower, you just gotta go really far north. It's at the top of the hill. The place is empty. You can't sleep here, but you can sleep next door at the gas station. First, a couple of ground rules. Number one, I highly recommend that under your agility you have at least the 24 level of ultimate runner that will allow you to have infinite endurance and you can run forever and you never get tired so that's number one it's very very important number two is that although when you step right here there'll be a glowing white plume when you step there it's the rules for this bounty are to not use potions in the grappling hook however they didn't say anything about using potions before it and you can actually use a speed potion in it and they don't negatively affect you i'm not sure why so if you don't want to cheat that's fine if you're willing to half cheat you can use a potion before you start so i have one right here the speed booster well, i can't rerun this course because i actually have the dagger already but i'm going to keep it in my hand right here and i'm going to use it and we'll show you how to go so the first thing you do get your speed booster and you drink it and right when you see it come to your mouth you get here and make sure that you can space it up now look to the bottom left and hit c when you're right before the bus and you'll land just so and you can not hit it hard and you'll be able to run without having to run far so when you run really fast right before you hit this guy hit c and if you're lucky you can jump off of him and land you'll notice i landed on top but if you're lucky you actually land way over here run here to hit this one and if you're good, you can stay on that. But if not, it's not a big deal. Jump to this guy. Run a straight on through, then jump to this. Make sure you hit this and jump there. You'll notice if you miss this and land right here or go in here, just start over. <laughs> it's really bad. Unfortunately, you cannot hit escape and restart. You have to run all the way back to the tower. It's called the walk or run of shame. And uh, you'll learn all about this town by walking back. Run across this. You won't have any of your speed potion at this point left. That's okay. Jump across. Instead of jumping up, run around this. From this side, jump across to this one. And if you're lucky with enough speed, you can jump without having to climb like that and that. This is the point where you want to use your second, if you're willing, potion to drink it. Because by the time you slide down this thing, you'll still have some left and you can run down. So this one, you don't have to look bottom right. But you want to C, hit the C button to drop off because the next plume is right here. Run through, then make sure you time, run right at the actual yellow ribbon. If you're landing from here, if you run at the yellow ribbon, you can hit space and slide down. Hit C before you get near the bus because this is right where the plume is. Immediately run, I don't care if you jump with the car or not, but make sure you go to the left of these poles instead of here, you get stuck if you try to go between here. But here, you can jump. Don't move your keyboard or controllers or anything. Just jump. Then you can start running again. Jump over this box. Where, this is where the next one is. Now, I'm assuming, I forgot to mention this, that you already have Tic Tac. It is the easiest and fastest way up this place. So, jump, then jump again. Then jump to your right. And that's how you Tic Tac up. Now, we're going to Tic Tac two of those windows, not three. The last one, as one person said on the forums, is very dodgy. It doesn't always work. So we're going to take the safe route that's still quick. So first, jump. And when you leap up, you're going to hit at the very apex of the jump, the highest point of the jump. You're going to hit space bar. And if you have a crud keyboard like me, you can tap twice really quick. Be careful that you let go of that when you hit the jump right here. So the tap is registered. Now, you'll notice at the top, he climbed up. I hit spacebar again at the top to grab that ledge. This last one, sometimes you can make it, sometimes not. It's too dodgy. So instead, you want to look left and jump for the ledge. Not the poles, but the ledge. It's hard to get right. Don't worry if you don't get it. He'll sometimes climb up like that. 
you want to climb on the ledge because as soon as you do that you jump to this <laughs> you can't make it if you're standing right here and it's very accidental to jump on this and fall off so be very careful it's better if you just tic tac to that jump to this ledge okay so once we're up here run left i like to jump from this thing you don't have to, but it makes the jump up here better. This is where the next one is. Immediately run here and hit space. If you run, you'll saw the space, press space, is there. Before you get to the end, this one you want to jump off of. And then run straight ahead. Now, if you want to hit the van and then jump off, it's fine. Either way, you're climbing up. Now, notice how I climbed the bar there? If you hit left where the ropes are, you won't have to do that extra climb. And I'll show you what that is. This gives you another millisecond of time here. See where the ropes are? If I if I climb around here, I go through without having to climb that one extra step. So you, once you get up, you want to run to this ladder, take an immediate left, and then just jump. It's not worth doing the actual run. Then run to the next ladder, then take an immediate right, position yourself very carefully and hold the space bar to grab that bottom ledge there. Then you can go straight up without having to modify anything. <sighs> Sometimes you'll grab this thing. Sometimes you'll get here, which is what you want. Now, notice there's three here. You do not have to grab the third one. Just grab the second. Now, once you're on the second, you can actually just go ahead and leap up. That'll save you some time. It's worth taking the extra because what you're going to do is immediately jump to this. Now, you can climb to the top of this thing. You'll notice your right hand's there, your left's there. But you don't have to because of this being ledge immediately there so you can actually climb about to here and while you're climbing look left okay when you're here you can just jump and get up you don't sometimes you'll grab onto and pull up but either way that's fine once you're here immediately go here and grab to the last cable that you're gonna have to climb once you once you see the cables go left because there's a hole here right or to the right either one it doesn't matter go around directly behind from where you came Position yourself yet again, and don't forget to hold spacebar so you grab that ledge. He'll kind of autocorrect here, see how he kind of goes right and pulls up. Duck just in case and walk to this thing. Now that you're outside, you got the last go. Now this is where things get tense, so be careful that you're not stressed out. You come out of your, cr your crouch and run off and fall. And immediately turn around and do the whole hold spacebar to jump. And it's very difficult here to get it, so make sure that you don't autocorrect and fall back. Once you pull up, you think you've made it to the top, but this is the last and most horrible part. The final plume is not here. It's actually on top of the green box. So as soon as you come up, run and jump, and you'll have the dagger. If you don't have any room in your inventory, it'll actually appear back at any of your bags where you get all your clothes. So don't be afraid if you don't immediately see it appear in your inventory. For me, I cleaned out stuff, so I had a slot ready for it. I also had some spare things, but just in case, don't fret. All right, here was one of my best attempts. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the good parts and the bad parts. I drink the potion, but I have a horrible lead off. Notice I have to jump a couple times to actually get it. That costs you about a second or a millisecond. Now here I jumped instead of dropped off, that's not good. I also walked instead of ran there. However here, I slide at the last second and managed to jump. But I missed the body, and that's his chance, and that's okay. Good news is I landed the pipe here, so I could actually parkour across both those. drink I was not doing here which I should have done if I had done the speed drink there I might have made this one I did have a screw up later though I also jumped I should have dropped hit C instead of jump yet another jump I should have dropped drink the potion a little too late Does not help you in tic tacking any faster this run across is really where you need it That was where I messed up. That tic tac cost you a second. <laughs> now that was a good leap there. Notice how I didn't have to climb twice. Now watch this slide off. See, I missed the jump there. That was a second screw up. But the slide off is really good. You hit it at the top and go here. 
Now, the third I didn't need to do here. It does not help you climb faster, so it was actually a waste. The time it takes you to go through here and run is not good. Notice I did the bar there. That's also bad. I should have jumped to the left. If you run off and hit the van, then jump, you don't have that problem. You should climb a little bit more to the right. You wouldn't have to do that second climb there, which is also really bad. And climbing up to that third, you don't need to. You can just immediately lead to the left. There's no need for that. Notice I climbed a little too far to the top. That's okay. And I didn't know to leap to that. You need to memorize that, is that you're climbing two of them, not one. Also there, trying to jump through doesn't work. You're better off going left or right, then coming through this. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the plume. Jump on the green box. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get the Kawhi Dagger in Dying Light. I hope you have fun with it. It really makes getting some of the parkour challenges a little bit easier. And it's all of a, overall just fun playing with others. So again, my name is Jesse Warren. I hope that helps. You got any other questions on tips on how to get this dagger? I tried 30 times. I have tons of failures. It was a lot of work. Very frustrating. It took a week. And if this is helpful, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.